Hello friends, you are watching C Programming Tutorial Classes brought to you by AngPro Training. And the topics for this class are we'll be learning the different looping statements, while loop, do while loop, and some example programs to demonstrate them. First, we'll understand what are the looping statements that are present in C language. Looping statements are used to execute a block of code or a piece of code repeatedly until a given condition is satisfied. Having loops in the program, we can reduce the number of lines and can use the same code block by updating it. Right? So loops are very helpful in the C programming. It saves our time, it saves, it reduces the file size and it can do lot more things. So now let's see the various loops that are present in C language. While loop, do while loop and the for loop. So these are the three and the only three loops that we have in C language. So all three works differently but but once we understand the uh, functioning and structure of the loops uh, we can we can use them suitably at anywhere uh, where the program requires it uh, right so first we'll look at how while loop works while loop executes a set of statements repeatedly until the given condition remains true right uh, before writing the block of code that will be executed uh, we'll write the condition, we'll give the condition and first uh, the compiler checks for the condition then go and execute the block of code and the condition will be checked every time and the code is executed every time until the condition is true. Here the given condition is checked first and then program control executes the block of code only if the condition evaluates to true. Right? So first uh, we have the word while that is the keyword which is used for the looping purpose followed by the condition inside the parenthesis. So it, it looks similar to if condition first we write if and condition so same here while inside the bracket condition. All right? Followed by a pair of parentheses where you having the one or more executable statements. So first the condition is checked here and then the execution starts after uh, compiler finishing the execution again goes back to the condition this line and checks the condition again if the condition is evaluated to true then this block is executed one more time so this this happens so this happens every time when the condition remains true right what if I want to print a message on the output screen 10 times I would have to write 10 printf statements, right? That takes a lot of time and a big file. To overcome that, um, I'll be using the loops. Especially in this program, I'll be using the while loop. Uh, so let us see how we can achieve the same result. I mean, printing the message 10 times by uh, by just using minimal number of lines. So printf statement, this is uh, this will be printed for 10 times. I'll write just a single printf statement here. I will say hello, welcome to AngPro training and a slash in character at the end. So this is a single printf statement and now see how we can print this for 10 times. So let's put this inside the while loop that is first write the word while and the condition inside here. So that's it. This is how while loop uh, looks like. So while we'll put a condition here. Let us say we have declared a variable. I, I'll, I'll declare the variable that I'll be using here. A variable a less than or equal to 10. So here I put the condition while a remains less than or equal to 10 execute this statement. So where is a? Let's go and declare the variable a int a and I'll initialize the a with the value 1. So now I got 1 in the variable a. Right. 
So what what will happen here when the control comes to this statement at the while? So it checks for this condition. Has A got uh, the value which is lesser than or equal to 10? Yes, one is less than or equal to 10, right? So compiler comes inside the loop and execute whatever we have there. So what happens when the next time compiler checks the condition? One again, A has got one again, right? So it has to increment its value every time. So when A becomes two, it will print A becomes three until A becomes 10. It, uh, it, it should go on printing the same statement, right? So I'll add a statement telling incrementing the value of A. So, so to achieve that, I will use the increment operator. So when A has got one, I will print the statement and at the statement, A will increment its value by one. So A becomes two and it executes for a second time. A becomes three, it will be printed for third time. Let's check this program. So here it is. We have got the same statement 10 times. So when A is one, one is less than or 10. One is less than or equal to 10. Yes, so so control will print the statement and increment the value of A by one because we have put the incrementation operator with A. So A becomes two now. Two is less than or equal to 10. Yes, print the statement, increase A by one. So three, A, A is now three, three is less than or equal to 10, right? A becomes four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 9, 10, so 10 is equal to 10, that's okay. And this will be printed. When A becomes 11, 11 is not less than or equal to 10. So control comes to this place, gets CH and stops the execution of the program, right? So whatever we place inside here, printed every time when loops iterates. So let's add one more statement. So here I'll print the value of A also, right? So the value of a is equal to percent d slash n comma i'll put the a here control f9 so look at your friends here we are getting the message along with the values along with the values stored in a so i hope you understood this program so now let's write one more program to print the numbers from 1 to 10. So friends, in this program, I'll be printing the numbers up to 10. And I have got the while loop here. While A is less than or equal to 10, let's go and print its value. Print F. Okay, so now I'll just print the value, right? So percent D is enough here control f so i have to increment it so we can increment the a using the increment operator otherwise we will uh, add one every time to a and store it in a again right so this is equal to incrementation operator uh, when the value of a is one one plus one is added to a again that is two so every time it will be incremented and uh, uh, the value stores in A again. Control F9. Yes, we have got the value. Okay, that's fine. But let's put it in vertical manner. Control F9. So that's what we have got. All right. So what if I want to print up to 100? I'll just uh, replace this 10 with 100. So it will iterate up to 100. So this loop iterates itself for 100 times. Control F9. So here we have got. So what if I want to print only the even numbers up to 10? So what should I do? So I should have to. So I should limit the loop up to 10. Okay, that's fine. If I run this program. I will get the numbers up to 10 but I want only the even number so how can I get the even numbers so not a big deal I will put the if statement inside the loop to check it every time whether it is even or not so that's it if if the number uh, that is a mod 2 which gives you the remainder is equal to 0 if a mod 2, that means remainder after division is equal to 0, but is even, right? 
so let us put all this inside the loop okay and i'll bring it back to increment operator so let us not put this inside the loop otherwise it will be skipped uh, every time so let's go and run this again see now we have got only two four six eight ten so what happened here the a the value of a printed only Three when it is getting divided by two and producing zero as remainder right uh, first time when a is value first time when a has got value one one mod two not equals to zero a will not be printed and a will be incremented to two two mod two is less than or equal to ten yes two mod two is equal to zero then we'll get a the value of a when a is three it not be printed when a is four it will be printed when a is five it, it will not be printed so it happens like that so if you want to if you want only the odd numbers let us change this to not equal to control f9 so we have got only the odd numbers right so like this we can print up to oh, 30 40 50 so at whatever number we want so this is how we can achieve the result and now we'll understand how do while loop works do while loop also executes a set of statements repeatedly until the given condition remains true but here the condition is checked at the end program control executes the block of code first and then checks the given condition if condition evaluates to true loop iterates again that means first the block of code is executed then the condition is checked so here it is how it looks so first we'll put the keyword do followed by the block of code which is executed for sure at least once and then the condition is checked at the end if condition is true then the compiler again executes for it one more time and goes back to the condition and checks for the condition again if condition is true the, the iteration repeats uh, the execution repeats once the condition gets fail the compiler will move on to the next statement so friends in this program I'll be demonstrating how we can uh, make use of do while here I've got the same program where uh, where it where we use the while loop to print a single statement okay so I'll just modify how we can change the while loop to do while so so you people will understand how while works and how do while works so I will just bring this while statement down the loop and I'll place this below here shift insert right so just put the do keyword here so that's it this is do while so let us this so let's save as this as do while in the bin folder do while dot C yeah so how it works let's go and run this program control F9 okay so we missed the semicolon here so don't ever miss the semicolon after the while condition right control f9 yeah we have got the same result using the do while so what happened here uh, so when a is 1 we printed successfully and a incremented to 2 2 is less than or equal to 10 yes will printed so every time when a is 3 okay a is 4 okay 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 so it is printed every time when the value is true so the difference is first it will print it will execute the set of statements and it go and check for the condition right even when the condition falls it will be printed for once at least right let's say a is equal to 1 now assume now so a has got value 1 if I tell while a is less than or equal to less than 1 okay if a is less than 1 then continue this loop a is equal to 1 a is not actually less than 1 right so a is equal to 1 so it will not check the condition first first it will execute the loop increment a then go and check the value so now a has got 2 2 is less than 1 no right so though 2 is not less than 1 
we already got this statement printed once. Let's go and try that. Control F9. Here we got the statement uh, at least for once. Though the value, though the condition is false, it is never be true at all. It, uh, it will never be true at all. Still, we got this statement executed. So that is how we can uh, we can make use of do while. So do while checks the condition after the loop being executed. Right. So we can replace any while loop to while loop with the do while loop. So this is a simple demonstration. We will cover more and more programs in the practical part. Well, friends, that's it for the class. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Like our page on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter and join our group on LinkedIn. Thank you.